We almost did it again and didn't get to talk about the ladies royal rumble and you it know, seems like everybody's overlooking the women's royal rumble match this year you know i, I think it's why i think it's just because the men is so crazy right now there's so many different possibilities that we're almost forgetting about this and right now i'm looking at my betonline.ag odds and here here it is in case you haven't seen this so bailey's a plus 135 becky's plus 200 jade cargill's plus 300 Wow. And then we get a big jump to Nia, Raquel, Bianca. And Bianca gets into the 1000s, then it's kind of okay. ridiculous from so, there. Because I actually, so shameless plug here, I have a, a Monday column, a weekly column on uh, cagesideseats.com called the Monday Gorilla Position. And I actually broke down the betting odds for for all the ladies and you know looked at some candidates this week that I thought were, I, look, you, you, know the, you know the old adage of if a line seems weird, Vegas knows something that you don't, right? I don't know what they're looking at or, or judging here, but seeing as the fact that Raquel Rodriguez has not even been on television for the last three months, I don't know how she, she's a top five betting favorite at this point. But I looked at some overlooked candidates and, and looked at the betting odds, and I broke all this down this week on cagesideseats.com. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the men's tomorrow. Um, my column usually hits somewhere around 11 a.m. or uh, or noon on the East Coast time. So uh, if you're waking up on the West Coast, you can check that out first thing with your cup of coffee. But regardless... Um, yeah, the the betting odds have now grown in favor of Bailey because when I did that, her and Becky were almost neck and neck with Jade Cargill right behind them. And now all of a sudden it looks like Bailey has continued to to pull ahead of the pack, which is interesting considering what we got from Becky and Rhea on Monday, which almost made me reconsider putting Becky as the favorite to win the Royal Rumble this year because we're getting that match. Like Becky and Rhea if especially if Seth can't go or if Seth is not in, uh, capable of, of leading up to the build for whatever his match is going to be at WrestleMania. Becky's going to swoop in and take her husband's main event match again <laughs> five years later because oh, it's gonna be man. Luna, and it's going to be Becky main event night one for the Women's World Heavyweight Championship. Becky Lynch has already sold me on that. There's nobody who sells a match arguably better than in pro wrestling than Becky Lynch. And she laid it out all on the line. You're great, Rhea. I'm great. I'm better at this. You're better at that. I think you might be better overall, but I need to prove you're not. And then you had mommy just looks dead at her and say, the only person who hopes, who hopes that you win the Royal Rumble more than you is me. Rhea wants the match. Becky wants the match. The people want the match. That's happening. The only question is, Will Becky Lynch win the Royal Rumble, make history again, which is like making a cup of coffee for her at this point, become the first ever woman to win two times, or do they go with Bailey, who is also right now, at least in storyline, gunning for Rhea Ripley, but that match that Bailey's going to get is probably going to be against her protege in ESKY, so it's right. going to be interesting to see how, how they get there, because from what I'm watching on television... Two weeks ago on SmackDown, Dakota Kai basically told Bailey, you have to do this on your own. We're not going to help you. Almost like Bailey's being tested. So yeah. it's like, so it yeah, feels I, like she's being tested to see either win the Royal Rumble or you're not in damage control anymore. Like we've outgrown you. We don't need you kind of a thing. So go out there and prove that you can actually provide something valuable in the way of wins and losses to the group that's the story that i'm seeing unfold which makes me think well bailey's not going to win the royal rumble she's either going to she's either going to lose right or she's going to think that she's won it and then she doesn't she makes a, a, a rookie mistake when she shouldn't when she's a veteran and she gets tossed out and you know ultimately becky maybe ends up winning or something like that but i do think right now it's a two-horse race i i just don't see i just unless they do the you know, the whole Randy Orton thing, evolution style, where Bailey wins the Royal Rumble, damage controls out there celebrating with her, and then EO just gives the, you know, execute order 66 signal and yeah. they just and they take her out, which wouldn't make any sense considering like they want her to go unless they want her to go out there and fail. I don't know. Like it's it's so interesting to me to see what the story ends up being there. But I do think our two matches are gonna be Bailey versus EO and Becky versus Rhea for the women's titles anyway. Um, it's just the two big questions are, how do we get there? And then, oh yeah, what do you do with Bianca Belair? Yeah, that's that's another question. And, I, and I'm certainly hoping 
we don't rush to get to Bianca and Jade Cargill. I, that that match cannot get rushed, and if Jade isn't ready to do it, don't do it. And I and and you've got to be they've got to be tempted to put that together, but I wouldn't touch that until Jade's ready to wrestle that match, and she's she's not there. She's not. So I I, 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 I think I think Jade is going to be in the Royal Rumble. I think she is going to come out there at a point where the ring is full, full and chuck and a bunch. She of is going to clean house. That is a match where she can show up, look like the absolute star that she is, because that's just what she cares. Whether she has that confidence, that presence. Uh, I mean, obviously she looks good as well. Don't need me to say that, but she goes out there and this is a match where she can look impressive. She can look dominant and hide any deficiencies in her game that still has because it's, it's a battle Royal, right? Like it's a lot of punching. It's a lot of kicking and it's chucking people over the ro- top rope and she can still go out there. She can look dominant. Her cardio has got to be good, right? Like she can go out there and last a long time in this match and finish in the top two or three and maybe get dumped by somebody in NXT for her to show whoever dumps her out can be like her first, you know, rival. Right. Uh, They want to do Bianca Belair. I don't know if that's the direction they end up going to me. It would make more sense. Bianca needs a new rival badly, badly, which is why I don't think she's going to win the Royal rumble because unless she's going to be the one that challenges Rhea, which does not look likely considering the showdown that we got between Becky and Rhea on Monday. So, this rivalry between Bianca and damage control, you can't extend that out another three months to WrestleMania. At that point, there's going to be so much fatigue behind this from people who are fans of these ladies. Like we've seen Bianca beat Bailey like nine times on television within the last two years. We have seen her beat EO before we have seen heck Kyrie's first match. She lost to, to freaking Bianca backs. Right? So it's like, we've seen this. We've been there. We've done that. We need a new, opponent for Bianca and that's where I think somebody like a Trinity and yes I would bring her back as Trinity um, makes a lot of sense here makes a lot of sense for multiple reasons 